Hi, in this video we will see how to uh, simulate uh, mechanical design, uh, automation design uh, with SOLIDWORKS and LabVIEW and uh, this is the uh, uh, example of a uh, milling machine I have created with SOLIDWORKS and I connected this uh, uh, motors that is associated with uh, X, Y and Z axis to the lab view so you can see here axis 1 uh, this is X motor Y motor and Z, Z motor so this, this axis are connected to the lab view now we'll see so this is the front panel in lab view that I have created to move uh, the ax uh, axis for x x y axis and z axis let's get into the program so this is a block diagram uh, for the first axis uh, for the second axis and the third axis let's see how this works I would apply this going to use accelerations 10,000 then and start the simulation the simulation has started in the lab view side I want to move my axis to the initial position that is home position so I'm clicking home position so you can see that the x axis is moving and now the y-axis started to move so it's just uh, act like a re real simulation because we are controlling with the velocity and acceleration if I reduce the acceleration to zero So the result is completed here. So I'm going to move the position of X now. Mm, 89.54. Sorry. So that is the position. The 189.54 is the position for the hole here. So I'm going to move it for 50. So let's see how fast it's moving. The acceleration has to be initially how to set. So, and I'm going to move the y axis position. So, this is act like a jog mode, uh, and um, you can give x position, y, and z position, whatever the position you want. Uh, let's see, and uh, I also created another. VI in that I have already programmed to uh, locate all these walls so let's see that one uh, this is a program that I have created uh, for drilling uh, the first row see the program so here is the program blocks for uh, one row and uh, for the first axis x 
it has to move to the particular one po one fifty uh, nine point six six, and for y axis it has to move one fifty two point nine two from the home position to the f location of the first hole, and this is for the z axis that is to drill that holes. So this is a complete program. I'm going to execute this VI. Close. So I want the simulation to be really fast. So I reduce the acceleration to zero and I'm resetting. So the reset is completed here, so you can see the indicator and I'm going to execute the program to drill. First uh, X axis is moving. So I access start the moon now. And the operation starts. As I already said that this is uh, not like a simulation that is available in the SOLIDWORKS. Uh, this is uh, like exactly uh, comparing with the real-time simulation because uh, we are controlling with velocity and acceleration and how much speed uh, uh, for a certain axis it has to be moved. Let's try out with a different speed. Um, stopping the execution. So stop the execution. And now uh, increase the velocity speed. And uh, again, I'm running this. So again, I'm going to reset this. So you can see the speed has improved uh, compared to the previous execution. So it is moving really fast.
Now one more time I'm going to execute my So you can see here I have increased the velocity Now it's moving really really fast But in SOLIDWORK simulation, uh, this is not possible. But with the uh, help of lab view and soft motion, this can be done. So if we are uh, building a new machine uh, like this uh, and we know what is the exact uh, motor speed that is the machine is going to run but uh, by using the same speed uh, here we can also find what is the cycle time that is required to complete the operation uh, for example if uh, the machine that is going to be operated with 1500 rpm so we have to change the velocity to thou uh, 10,000 and uh, so if we uh, run the program with the velocity initial setting to the 10,000 and we can find what is the cycle time that is required to complete the whole drilling process in the material So our program only for the 9 holes, so the execution is now completed. I'm going to stop this program here. And I'm going to stop the simulation. So I uh, located the initial hole with the help of uh, dimension. So for this hole I have already Hold. The initial portion uh, it is uh, 156.159.66 and Y portion is 152.92. I have located with the dimensions. So that is how I programmed the initial location in the lab.